finally got the skinny on how we become an official Jedi twosome. Short version? Not happening. We'd only ever see each other on Tython. Senior council members would review us monthly, make sure we stay... detached. The clincher is, only Jedi who were raised by the Order from birth get permission. I'm automatically disqualified. At least we have our answer. Still plenty of questions left. What happens when Master Satil catches us, for starters? We push this any further, it might end up like Jomar and Leha. Not gonna ruin your life, tough guy. You want out of this? Just say so. I'd rather face down the whole council than lose what we have. For a man of action, got away with words. So much for upholding the Jedi Code. Guess we're outlaws. We'll find a way to live with the guilt. Somehow. Won't be easy, but we have to try. And try and try. Nope, still feel guilty. You'll have to try harder next time. Better get back to saving the galaxy. Don't want people to think we've gone soft. Permission to speak freely, Master Jedi. You've never needed permission to speak your mind before, Rusk. What I'm about to say, Master Jedi, you might construe as critical. I had some concerns when I was first assigned to your squad. The Jedi are known for their discipline and selflessness, and for their pacifist philosophies. I'm pleased to say, my concerns were unfounded. After Hoth, I'm not sure why you would have thought I was a pacifist. As I said, my concerns were unfounded. I came from a pacifist colony, Master Jedi. We were bullied, remorselessly, by pirates, corporations, huts, even governments. I joined the military as soon as I could. Peace only comes to those willing to fight for it. That must make things a little strained. Ten years ago, the colony was attacked by the Sith. My family was killed. They never fought back. The Sith crushed them, the way you might step on a bug. We'll hold the Emperor accountable for this, Rusk. I promise. Thank you, Master Jedi. At any rate, we should move on. Thank you for hearing me out. As you say. This is the worst day of my life. Some idiot bounty hunter killed Nemro the Hutt before the Journal of Xenomedicine could examine him. They can't verify my treatment worked because Nemro's a big messy puddle of goo. There's no proof I saved him. I know how hard you worked to develop that cure. The average Hutt lifespan is a thousand years. Nemro was only 600. Stupid bounty hunter. My only hope is someone else coming down with the disease so I can cure it again. I'm not holding my breath. The disease is rare. It could be years, decades before I get another shot at it. Another living being is dead, and all you can think about is how it inconveniences you. I thought you were better than this. I thought you were a healer. Was I wrong? Nemro wasn't a nice person, but he didn't deserve vaporizing. I'll send something respectful to his memorial service. You know what? The Journal of Xenomedicine can take a flying leap into a black hole. You know, I'm starting my own blasted journal. I've had enough medical adventures these past few years to fill a library. And I'm telling people all about them. Good. Your knowledge will make the galaxy a better place. And if I get moderately famous in the process, that's all right too. Publishing a Holonet journal won't be easy. I'm gonna need recorders, edit droids, and a good S-thread broadcaster. That's some serious scratch. I'll have to start charging for my services. You understand. I'm willing to invest in a worthy venture. I'll only need a couple of million credits to get started. See what you can do. We should talk, but back on the ship is better. Master Satil? I stopped Lord Fulminus. He created a madness-inducing plague to turn this planet's inhabitants against each other. If he'd succeeded, Voss would have exploded into mindless violence. 
the entire planet would be a slaughterhouse. The brutality of the Sith knows no bounds. I applaud you for a job well done. I know it wasn't easy dealing with the Voss people. The Voss are strange, but in the end, I needed their help to win. It shows true strength to admit to needing help from others. I hope strength enough for what I must ask of you. One of our missing Jedi has resurfaced, and the news isn't good. Warren Sadoru has attacked and boarded the Republic flagship Valiant. What is Warren after? The Valiant is commanded by Admiral Dabrin, one of our top military leaders. He's inflicted heavy casualties on Imperial forces. Admiral Dabrin possesses complete knowledge of the Republic's war plans. If the Imperial military gains that information, they'll crush us. You're missing the point. The fallen Jedi serves the Emperor's agenda. We must learn his mission. We found Leha and Warren, but no sign of Master Braga. Maybe Warren knows where to find him. Not everything missing should be found. The Valiant is drifting out of control at these coordinates. Liberate it, save the Admiral, and learn the Emperor's plans. Hurry. The Valiant's crew can't hold out much longer. Lindley, oh, she was a sweet girl. Wonder whatever happened to her. Hope she caught that shuttle off Malice there. Probably should have left her some credits. Oh, hey. Strangest thing. I was chatting with Kira and I suddenly had this urge to rethink my past relationships. It sounds like you're the victim of a Jedi mind trick, Doc. I'm guessing Kira wanted to get rid of you. What? You mean... Oh, that's dishonest. You people shouldn't do that to your friends. I ought to file a complaint with the Jedi Council. Oh, from now on, I'm keeping my distance from Kira. If she can't play nice with old Doc, well, she won't play at all. I hear you. Master, I've landed on Corellia. From what I saw flying in, the fighting here is intense. Corellia is in a state of total war. The Republic and Empire aren't holding back anything. The losses are staggering, and not just military. Thousands of civilians die every hour. And each death brings the Emperor closer to his goal. Which is why we cannot retreat. If the Republic pulls back, the Empire will exterminate every being here. The Emperor doesn't distinguish between his people and ours. Every Imperial and Sith we kill adds fuel to his ritual. Yes. He's planned for every contingency. Master Tall Braga is aiding the enemy. He knows how to hurt us, block our efforts to save this world. Removing Master Braga from the Emperor's control is the key to victory. I won't leave a fellow Jedi enslaved to that monster. After prolonged exposure to the Emperor's influence, Master Braga may be difficult to free, but we must try. Only a handful of Jedi remain alive on Corellia. I'm sending reinforcements from the Outer Rim, but they're inexperienced. We need strong leadership to win this battle. I'm naming you Supreme Commander of Jedi Forces on Corellia. I'll resolve this crisis with as few casualties as possible. Corellia must not fall. Your mission is twofold. Direct our forces to aid the Republic military's efforts, and personally find Master Braga. Until reinforcements arrive, rally those few Jedi already on the surface. My contact, Captain Rick Dean, will help you locate them. I'm sending his coordinates. May the Force be with you. Master, I've marked the best escape pod for your sole use. I, of course, will go down with the ship. Hey, glad I caught you. The Republic needs a Jedi now more than ever. Corellia's under Imperial control. Every squad, soldier, and CO in the galaxy is fighting to get her back. We thought the Empire had taken the planet by force. Turns out, they had the Corellian Council's blessing. 
I can't see the average Karelian agreeing to that. The people of Karelia made the first strikes against the Empire. Unfortunately, they didn't do much damage. The Empire's taken over factories, shipyards, even local transport. The transport blockade's become the most urgent problem. The Republic's got allies all over Karelia. But without access to the rocket tram system, most of the Republic army is stuck here. Where do these rocket trams run? The suspended tracks all around Coronet City. It's the only way to reach some areas, and troop deployments crippled without it. Corellia is a core world, a major industrial hub, and one of the founding members of the Republic. If we fall here, it might be for good. General Aves knows more about the tram system situation. He wants to see anyone willing to help. Distractions, reinforcements, an armed escort. Whatever the Republic needs. Accessing the rocket trams more a question of safety than firepower. General Aves has a command bunker here in the spaceport. I'll tell him to expect you. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo. Da biska ku paliya. Chikos pa ini good dad iji gliska chanagawa. O bagthra wanawaga mi bunawa dwe dwipe. You should have this area cordoned off until the bombs are dealt with. It's not worth risking lives. Umpa hupa, jikilia umpasa do biska. Pampa wula ji ota kakoga huta nupisto. Se gota do muti kihasa da punyo. Lis di woto. Why don't you let me deal with this? Chaskruni do pat kurira do kanki kung. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo, da biska ku paliya. Umpa hupa, jikilia umpasa do biska. I love Corellia. The people, the nightlife, the fine beverages. Done as you wished. O grani tampio da pushi wumpa, pu tula musta, chascruni do pat curira, do kanki kung. <laughs> 